Welcome back to character modeling. In the previous lesson, we modeled the character's mouth. And in this lesson, we're going to be modeling the ear. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you some of the changes I made offline. Uh, the main change being I went through and pulled a lot of vertices around to clean up and evenly space the distance between the other edges and really paying attention to my edge flow. I had a lot of areas kind of coming into the back here that were very inconsistent as far as the vertices sort of being up and down or curving in the wrong way. So I straightened a lot of those out, as well as doing a reduction of resolution on the lower lip leading down into the chin and neck. There was an excess amount of lines coming down in here from all the edge loops that we put in to shape the nose and the upper lip. And we didn't really need to carry that resolution all the way down into the lower lip and into the neck area. It was just a little bit too much. I can show you what, that's my son in the background laughing. I can show you what that looked like in the previous model. So this is our model from the prior lesson. And you can see all the resolution happening down here on his neck that we don't necessarily need. So I went through and selected every other edge, just double clicking on it and using delete vertices and edges. You can find that under edit mesh, it's down here. Making sure that you delete the vertices and not just delete the, the edge on the character. You don't wanna leave vertices behind. Okay, and you can see I extruded an area out here for his chin, this round area that was just selecting four faces and extruding those. It just gave him a little bit of shape. Uh, I worked a bit on the lips to just get the corners coming in a little bit more accurately as well as pulling out the lower lip so it stuck out a little bit more. Pulled a couple points down on the nose. You can see that over here. It was this point right here. I pulled it down forward. I'll come back to one on the keyboard so you can see that. So that spaced these out more evenly, as well as on the forehead, I pulled some of these points over just to space them out. And going over to the top of the head, you can see I've got the three edges in the center here and a gap and then two more. So I spaced those out evenly, just grabbing vertices and pulling those over and making sure that everything is flowing properly. And down here in the back side, I had this area where I had collapsed some vertices before and had a triangle where I deleted an edge and did the same thing merging the additional three. And there he goes. All right. And um, I had to uh, merge these here as well. And Fortunately, it turned out to be the same number that I had on the top as well as the bottom. So I'm actually able to delete these edges and reroute the topology. And it's much cleaner this way. So I'm just gonna connect this edge, move these vertices over here, as well as this. So you can see how lumpy the character is on the back here. That's what I spent quite a bit of time cleaning up. So I pulled those over and reconnected those with the split polygon tool. So you just connect both of these back up and uh, finish that off. And any changes that you make on one side of the character, you can cut the character in half and copy it over. All right, we're gonna model an ear. So if you wanna just hold off on cutting the character in half and mirroring it over, we're gonna do that at the end of this lesson. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the old head there and work on my current one. So in our side view, in the drawing, the ear is sitting quite low, which I am okay with, but it is actually sitting back a little too far. I want to move it forward a couple faces here on the character and actually have it be these six faces right here should be the ear. Let's come out here and take a look at it. Let's see what that looks like on our character. 
So I'm going to start just by pre-shaping and rounding out a couple of areas for where the ear is going to be. So I'll move a couple of these back. I'll move this one forward. So now you can kind of see. Now you can see the shape of the ear forming. And let's go ahead and grab the faces here. Shift selecting those. And we'll make our first extrusion. Center that in world space. Scale it in a little bit. And we'll go ahead and start pulling it out. And extrude again. And we're going to pull this one out. Activate the rotation tool on this. And I'm just rotating that on the Y axis. So that angles it out. If you look down on it, it angles it out more on the back side of the ear than the front. Activate the scale tool now and scale it in Z. And go ahead and push that back. I'm trying to keep the front part here, these faces, a little more flush to the side of the face. We can start rotating this around in X. Have the ear tipping back. Let's extrude again. World space. We'll pull that out. And we're going to scale this one up. Pull it back as well. So you can see what that looks like. And extrude again. Center it and pull it out. And he's going to have kind of thick ears. And extrude again. And we'll scale this one in. It's going to create the thickness for the inner ear there. And extrude again. Center that and push it back. And X. And we're going to rotate this one. And we'll go ahead and hit Q on the keyboard and end it there. We've got some shaping to do. If we hit 3 on the keyboard to take a look at it initially. See, it needs a little work on it still. It's still kind of uniform looking. I'm going to grab some of the vertices on this inner part right here. The w on the keyboard. I can see I've got some selected on the back side. I'll deselect those. And I'm going to push these in a bit. And scale them as well. So I'm going to thicken this area up. And I think it can be a little bit narrower here. And then we'll push it back in. That creates a nice little bend right there in the ear. Take these two vertices on the inside of the ear and push those back. And if I want to pull the earlobe down, I can grab this, thicken that up there, and thicken the top of this up as well. Grab a couple of these vertices and pull them over. Hit X. That'll thicken that area up there. And now it's just sort of a matter of giving it a certain shape or style that you want. If you want the ears a little bit more crooked and bending out, do things like this. And grab some of the upper vertices and rotate those so his ears stick out a little more. You can also bend them out like this. I think I'll have them bending out like that. Okay, and we're just going to keep the interior area in this ear simple. I'm not going to extrude any additional geometry in there like a real ear. This is very cartoony, stylized. Just push this back a little bit and I want to thicken this area up just a little on the back part of the ear. There we go. And maybe down like that. 
Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to come back to object mode, come to our front view, and we'll need to cut the face in half again and mirror it over. So I'm just grabbing all the faces on the other side and deleting those. And then grabbing the vertices down the center. And W on the keyboard. Holding down the X key, I'm going to snap them to the origin. That should align everything. And we can come back out here to our perspective view. And under Mesh, Mirror Geometry, Option Box, we're going to mirror it over in negative X. So we've got ears on both sides now. I'm going to adjust the threshold over here to 0.01, just to make sure no vertices are merging where I don't want them to. Come back to Object Mode. Let's turn off Wireframe on Shaded. And we can look at his ears now. Okay, let's extrude the neck down, come back to one, and I'm just going to double click on the edge, grabbing that. And I'm going to come to my side view to use that for a guide. And I'll extrude down, I'm going to center it in world space, and scale it in, and push it back. So I'm scaling it in uniformly. Might want to come to a two panel view here just to see a little better what I'm doing. So I've got my perspective view here, and then I'm going to select under panels orthographic side. This way I can pay attention to the thickness as well. I'm going to extrude again. World space, push that down, scale it in. And I'll need to rotate this one in X. It's going to hit W on the keyboard to push it back. And I scaled it in a little too much. I'm going to scale it in Z only, just widening that up a little. Okay, so I've got a, a bend right here that's happening. I'm going to go ahead and just reshape that here. Push this down. Drag a marquee and push this down. And I'm going to pull these vertices in the back of the neck up. And then match the edge flow. And this part of the neck can come in just a little. He's got a very crooked neck. This is Adam's apple right there. All right, let's extrude the edge again. So I'm going to double click on it and select it. Extrude. Center that in world space. Push it down and back. And I can scale this in now. Rotate it. In X. And I'm going to hit R on the keyboard. And it's getting a little narrow this way. I'm going to go ahead and widen it back up. And X, right there, and we'll come back and insert an edge loop there where we need it. And I'm just going to pull these vertices up in the back again. Probably rotate them as well. Selecting the edge. Extruding, find a world space, and I'm going to pull this down and push it back. So this will probably fit down into his collar. We may have to make some adjustments. I'm going to start flaring it out here for where his shoulders expand. And I'm going to come back just into my perspective view, go back to object mode, and I'll need a couple of edge loops. Put one around here for his bend in his neck, as well as one down here. And we'll just divide the neck up evenly like that. All right. Let's hit three on the keyboard. Q 
cue to get out of that. And that's looking pretty nice. If you want to shape the Adam's apple a little different or make it more prominent or pointy in the front, you can do that. I'm going to just narrow mine a little bit, grabbing a couple of vertices and scaling them in on either side. That made that area a little more narrow. There we go. Okay, come back out here. Let's turn his eyes back on. And that pretty much completes the modeling for the head. We'll come back in the last lesson and we'll model the hair. And we'll do that in the next lesson.